Mr. Hawkins, thank you for joining us this morning. For those of you coming from other training academies, I am Admiral Amelia, and it is my job to usher you into full service with this final series of exercises. All vessels are to use dummy loads in their weapons and to pay strict attention to my commands. Now, you may have noticed the three fast frigates from Her Majesty's 30... Swing south below the archipelago. You heard the Admiral, Mr. Onyx. Let's get out there and be the first to hit him. Aye, sir. Bringing the engines to full power. Changing heading now. I set in course. Changing heading now. I slow ahead. I set in course. There are the frigates from the 32nd now. Students, attack! Try to get as many torpedo strikes as you can in two minutes. Aye, ma'am. Aye, slow ahead. Setting course. Fire! Aye, aye. Cruising speed, Captain. Aye, setting course. Now reform and escort the target group to the southern edge of Clark's Nebula. Changing heading now. Changing heading now.
Helmsman! Approaching Nebula! Should you get ahead of the group, wait at the Nebula for the other ships to join you. Right then, welcome to Clark's Nebula. Red flag ships head around the Nebula's west edge. Blue flag ships head along the eastern edge. When you meet again at the northern tip of the Nebula, you will engage the other team in battle. May the best crews win. The engines are at full power, sir. Setting course. Whale spotted. Look, Mr. Onyx. Orcus Galacticus! Spotting them is supposed to bring good luck! I wouldn't know, sir, but they are certainly magnificent. Changing heading now! Setting course. Spotted, sir. Red and blue teams engage. And remember, when a flag turns black, it means that ship is considered destroyed and all its systems will deactivate until the end of the battle. Fire! Aye, so ahead. Changing heading now. Congratulations, winners! A fine battle, well fought by all.
and I hope those of you unfortunate to be black flagged have learned a valuable lesson or two. Now then, while our friends from the 32nd Strike Flotilla return to Crescentia, the rest of us will continue with the remaining exercises. Students, form up behind me and follow my course. Aye, set in course. Tender in sight. We'll be using live ammunition for this next exercise. Dock with a supply tender to rearm. You first, Mr. Hawkins. Aye, ma'am. Docking now. Now then, all ships enter the asteroid belt south of here for target practice. It's time for you to experience the raw power of your weapons when using live ammunition. You may fire when ready. I'll halt the exercise when I think you've had enough practice. I've just gotten word that the Royal Navy tender, Providence, is under attack by pirates. We're the only group close enough to stop the blackguards from running off with a tender. Break off and head due south at full speed. Engage any pirate vessel you see, and show them what it means to poach this close to Crescentia. But be careful. This is not an exercise anymore. The pirates will be firing real laser cannons. Careful, Helmsman! Asteroids! Aye, setting course. The engines are at full power, sir! Away! Aye, 
Setting course. Lieutenant Hawkins, I knew you had it in you. Nothing like finishing the day with a little scrap against some blackguards, eh? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. A fine day's work. Now, gather up any pirate longboats you can see and take those ruffians prisoner. The engines are at full power, sir. In a day full of surprises, I found the strangest one after the battles were all over. As we hauled the last of the pirate prisoners aboard, I was surprised to hear my name called out. It was Turnbuckle, one of John Silver's old crew. A face and form I hadn't seen since my adventure to Treasure Planet five years ago. I thought he was going to ask to be set free because we knew each other, but all he did was stumble up to me and press a lump of dark matter into my hand. Silver says, beware, was all Turnbuckle told me. Before I could question him further, he ducked back in line and was herded off to the prison ship with the rest of the prisoners. By the time I found a moment to get back to my quarters and examine the rock, my mind was filled with a thousand thoughts of the old pirate I hadn't seen in so many years. I had heard rumors of him from time to time, some whispers of his ship being seen on smuggling runs, or even that he had turned privateer and was preying on Prussian shipping fleets in the name of Queen and Empire. I was still deep in thought when little Morphe, the pet Silver had given me all those years ago, jumped up on my desk and began to chirp and spin. To my amazement, he suddenly changed into a miniature version of old John Silver and croaked, beware, beware, as if he understood something that had evaded me. Despite Morphe's tricks, I'm no closer to an answer. Could Silver have been trying to warn me about those strange new iron ships on the frontier? Or some sort of new pirate threat closer to home? Without Silver here, all I have is more questions. And so, I'm left to try and understand this message. The one word that Silver had to say. And I can't know whether it's a threat or a warning from the cyborg that befriended me years ago. Silver says, beware. I would have to be.